Welcome to New England Streamers. Today I am going to be tying the Scotch Lassie. This fly originated in New Brunswick, Canada on the Canes River um, as a salmon fly, but today we're going to be tying the tandem variation that's popular here in Maine. So I start my tan thread behind the hook eye and stop in between the point of the hook and the barb. Snip off the excess tag there. Now I'm just going to grab a piece of pre-cut monofilament here. It's a 30 pound test monofilament. Slide it through the hook eye and tie it in where the thread stops. I like to cut mine to be about three quarters of an inch long. Now I'm just advancing the thread towards the hook eye. These are fairly loose turns here, just trying to get the orientation of the monofilament straight. And that looks good to me. I'm going to grab some large mylar tinsel, snip off a tie-in point here. And the gold side is going to be up. Silver side facing down. And just tie this in. And watch out for the point of the hook there. And back up to the hook eye. And I'm going to throw a finish in here so that that thread doesn't come undone. And now wrap the body, start underneath, nice even touching turns here. Snip that off. I'm just going to build up a nice neat head here, but not too much because I have to put black thread on because this pattern does have a black head. So I'll tie this tan thread off, trim off the tag, now I'm going to grab my black thread, trim off the tag. And once I've got this covered in black thread and it's fairly even, I'll tie off the black thread.
and snip it off. Alright, so it's time to work on the front part of the fly here. I've got my size 6 hook in the vise. I'm going to start my thread at the hook eye, work my way down, just building up a nice base to tie the monofilament into. Snip off the tag. So I'm just going to set this monofilament on top, take some loose wraps down the shank of the hook, make sure the orientation is correct here. It looks like I went a little further with that monofilament than I'd like. It's kind of crowding the hook eye. I'll probably snip that tip off a little bit. Alright, I'm going to tie in my piece of tinsel here, get working on this body. and back up towards the hook eye and you can apply a lot of pressure here to make sure that monofilament stays on there throw a half itch or a finish in there and time to wrap try to get nice touching turns here See how I can do. And that's not too bad. So I'll go ahead and tie down the materials here. And snip off the waist. Alright, I've got my body finished. Now I'm going to apply some clear nail polish. This is going to secure the tinsel in place. If a big fish bites into it, it won't come unraveled if you've got a couple coats of this. So I'll just put on one layer on the front and the back hook, let it dry. Then I'll put on another layer. And once I get both layers on and dried, I'll move on to the next step here. Alright, now it's time to put on some black thread here. Snip off the tag. Okay, I'm going to tie in the underwing, which is going to be some white bucktail. Uh, I use these sides from the wider part of the tail. They seem to be longer and straighter. So I'll just snip off a little clump here and pull out the 
fuzzies at the bottom discard them and pull out the long in the short hairs so you're left with hairs that are about the same length and tie those in a few loose wraps work your way forward towards the hook eye and then pull down a little bit and just bind those down and then you can snip them off alright time to do the wings here I'm gonna grab a yellow feather I'm gonna pull off the bottom fluff here and discard that so what I'm left with is this part of the feather and just strip off the fibers until you get it about the, a little longer than the hook now I'm going to grab a blue feather and do the same thing then put the yellow on top of the blue now I've got to do the same thing again and then make another matching pair and you can put a little drop of glue on the blue one before you set the yellow on top and that will hold them together alright so now it's time to tie in you can tie in one at a time or both at the same time totally up to you I'm gonna tie in both make sure they line up and take a few loose wraps work my way down towards the hook eye and I'm going to snip them off you can also bend the stems back and tie those in for added security but I just snipped them off this time and just finish the head make it as neat as possible I like to use my whip finisher for the final finish just makes it neat alright now I'm gonna grab my Sally Hansen's or head cement and just apply that and once that dries I will put another coat on and just grab a stem that I snipped off and run that through the hook eye to get the glue out And that is the finished fly, guys. The Scotch Lassie. Go ahead and tie some up. Give it a shot. Let me know how they fish. Thank you guys for tuning in. Hit the like button. Comment. Subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And we'll see you next time.